Uh, in this problem, we have been given to get a uh, maximum current through a resistor of 2.5 ohm. One can use m rows of cells, each row having n cells. The internal resistance of each cell is 0.5. What are the values of n and m if the total number of cells is 45? Okay. Now, what we have been given here is a circuit consisting of uh, m rows. Okay, and in each of uh, each single row, we have n cells in identical cells with some internal resistance okay so what we have here you can say that in each of the row we have n uh, identical cells and the value of uh, uh, the sorry the internal resistance of each of the cell is 0.5 okay and uh, there are there is some value for this emf okay now uh, what we have uh, like this is n okay what we can here write is n cells okay this is first cell second cell this is the nth cell okay and like this we have m rows okay which are connected in parallel So this is the first row, this is the second row, and like this we have M rows. Okay, and these M rows are connected in such a manner, and uh, through this combination we have a external resistor of 2.5 ohm. Okay, a 2.5 ohm resistor is connected. Okay, to uh, to this combination, okay. and we have been given that the total number of cells, the total number of cells which are present is 45. Okay, so we need to determine the value of N and M to get the maximum current through the external resistance of 2.5 ohm. Okay, now uh, as we have seen in the previous example, uh, we know that in order to get the maximum current or the maximum power delivered to a load, the condition required is that the external resistance value must be equal to the internal resistance of the cell. Okay, so what we require here is that okay that the value uh, for uh, the external resistance must match the total value of the internal resistance present in the circuit okay now so for this first what we require is to determine the total internal resistance present in the circuit okay now for solving for the internal resistances present in the circuit what we'll be doing is first we'll be finding the equivalent uh, resistance for the single row okay now if we'll observe the single row we have n cells and each of the n cells are having n resistors and all these resistors are connected in series okay so if we, if we have n resistors so that means the total resistor for a single row would be 0 0.5 times n. Okay, this is the resistor present in the single row, and we have been given m such rows. Okay, total we have m rows. Okay, m rows which are connected in parallel. That means what we have is 0.5 n is the resistance of single branch. Okay, and like this we have m rows, and all these resistors are identical each of us each of them having a value of 0 0.5 n and they are connected in parallel okay so as we have seen earlier the two equivalent resistance for identical resistors connected in parallel would be r by n that means the individual resistor divided by the number of branches now in our case the number of branches is m okay and the value of individual resistor is 0 0.5 that means the total resistance the total internal resistance for the combination would be resistance of the single row divided by the total number of sorry 0 0.5 n divided by the total number of rows so this is the value of the total internal resistance which is present in the circuit okay now we know that for maximum power to be delivered to this load or the maximum current to be uh, flowing across this resistance the condition is this Okay, so if we will substitute for this thing, we'll be getting 2.5 is equal to 0 0.5 n by small m. Okay, so from here we can say that n by m is equal to 5. Okay, so this is, let us assume that this is equation number 1. Okay, now the second data in terms of n, uh, n and m, which we can solve with by using this, ex using this data, if the total number of cells is 45, the total number of cells in the circuit given to us is 45. To determine the total number of cells, we know that in each row, there are n cells. And like this, we have m rows. That means the total number of cells would be n times m. Okay, and that is given to us as 45. 
Okay, so this is our second expression which we'll be using. The total number of cells would be the number of cells in one row divided multiplied by the total number of rows. So n into m is equal to 45. This is equation number two. Now, if we will solve for uh, using uh, these two equations, we'll be getting the values of n and m. Okay, uh, what we can do is let us divide these uh, expressions. Okay, so if we we'll divide it, we'll be getting. So this will give us m square equals to nine. Uh, since we'll be taking only positive value, so we'll be getting the value of m as three. Okay, so m we have got the value of m as three, and if we will substitute the expression uh, value of m in this expression, we'll be getting the value of n as fifteen. Okay, so. These are the optimum values of the number of cells in each row and the number of rows so that the current in the external resistance of 2.5 ohm is maximum.